Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. Today we are going to go over the Siglent SDS 1000 X series and compare it to the X Plus series, okay? I'm just going to go over the differences between the two. I'll do another video where I actually do a more full review on this. Um, but I just want to go over, if you're shopping and you know these scopes, but you don't know the difference between the two series, that's what I want to cover today. Um, I'll tell you what, the main difference between the X and the XC, there's two main differences. One of them is screen size. The X has an 8 inch screen. The XC comes with a 7 inch screen. So that's one of the biggest differences. The other one is the XE um, comes with the 4 channel option where the X does not. So now they both come with one or 200 meg two channel options and in that case they're going to look very similar to each other. They're very similar um, except for the screen size like I say the X or the XE. Okay? But other than that the layout here is very similar. The buttons are a little bit different. On the XE you do not have the wave gen or the digital um, buttons you do have a deep cold. Um, now, by the way, as far as I, from my understanding, both series come with the deep cold, even though it's called an option. And when you get the deep cold option, like say they, this scope came with it. I think they all come with it now. So if you see somebody saying that, you know, they're giving you a sale price. So there's one, two, three, five different buses. Five different buses. I squared. I squared C, SPI, UR, CAN, and LIN. Okay. In the X series, you get the one or two hundred meg two channel. You can get the plus. If you get the plus, this guy right here is loaded, and then the digital button works. And then you get the sixteen channels of digital. So you get a, basically a logic analyzer built in, and then the scope becomes an MSO, like mixed signal oscilloscope. Okay. This is a mixed domain oscilloscope. So this is the Instec, the GW Instec. Uh, this one has a spectrum analyzer built in. It does not have the digital. It, it's, it's a spectrum. So um, kind of a different animal than this guy. And I, did, I didn't think I needed the digital input. So I got this one. Plus I got a really great deal. So I didn't really do a lot of comparisons between the X and the XC. I like the big screen. I thought pretty much... Um, that I was paying a little bit more for the big screen. One thing I didn't realize is the FFT on this guy, when I do the math, the FFT on this one is not as deep memory as the X-E. Other than that, as far as the deep memory, um, for the, you know, the basic deep memory of the scope, they're both 14 mega points. And if you get the E with four channels, then it comes with 14 meg divided by, by uh, 2 and then channels 3 and 4 gets another 14 meg divided by 2 so you get 7 meg per channel or you get 14 meg on channel 1 or 2 and 14 meg on channel 3 or 4 you don't get 28 meg on one channel okay it's divided up between the, it comes in groups of two okay I'm going to show a picture of the 1202 XE so you can see how they look very similar. The two channel uh, versions look very similar, especially on the non-digital option of the XE. It looks very similar to this scope. So the X-E, other than the screen being a little smaller, it, it has deeper memory on the FFT, but it also has some web control options. And it also has a Wi-Fi option that you can plug in the USB. I don't think that works for this one. It does for the X-E, so you can get Wi-Fi upgrade, and also the um, this one has the generator wave gen and the digital buttons here. Even though you can see the digital is not installed, the wave gen has the BNC connector, you know, BNC like this in the back for the generator. So I thought I could just get a license and turn this one on, and turns out that's not true. You can't get it. So you have to buy it in the plus version, I believe. Um, I think that's when you get the digital and the generator to plus. Um, 
not absolutely sure about the generator, so you gotta verify that on me. But the um, but on the X E, you can use USB to get Wi-Fi or the Wave Gen. The other thing you can get with the X E is when you get four channels, you can get the Bodhi well and the generator option. So you have to have four channels plus a generator option, and then you can do Bodhi plots with it on the screen. So that's pretty cool. So that's why. Unless you can find a great deal on an X like I did, I would probably go with the X-E. I'm going to bring you a little closer here, and we're going to go over some specifics. I'll show you the pictures between the two and the, uh, and the differences, So, and, and also the prices, okay? So you can kind of see what the difference is between the X and the X-E. But I thought, you know, the screen size, one negative on the X-E. Other than that, the price and the upgradability and so on. And also, for the same price as, as uh, this scope, you can get a 4-channel 100 meg uh, X-E. Okay? So let's look at the prices. I'm going to show you the difference what FFT looks like. On the FFT X-E, it's 1 million points. On this one, it's 16 it's a little over 16,000, 16,800 and something points or something like that. Um, so it's almost, you know, it's, it's significantly different. I'll show you the pictures. I'll probably show them right here so you can see the 1 meg. You can see all the resolution it has. And with 1 meg, it just has a lot more granularity. So you can see a lot more detail. With the 16.384 point, you can see that it doesn't quite have as much resolution and so yeah that's kind of the difference between the FFT portion of it. Alright guys so let's look at the prices and let me show you um, a close-up of this okay. Alright let's do it guys thanks. Alright so here are the prices the list prices this is one we're looking at on the bench the 1202X and it lists for 659 you can get on Amazon for about a hundred bucks less than that, okay? So it's still over five hundred dollars. And here's the plus versions, okay? There's the 100, 200. It's really the only difference is that you get the 16 digital and I believe the generator. So that's the one thing we'd have to make sure about, okay? Um, probably be worth giving an email to Siglent. They're really quick at responding. And these are the prices for the X-E. You can see much better pricing. I mean, here you have four channels for under $500. These are the same specs as the, as the X. So the X-E, you know, you, you get that. Or you can go down to the 200 meg 2 channel, like the one on the bench, except, you know, it's going to have one inch smaller screen. It's going to have a lot better FFT for only 379. The generator can be added by firmware or external dongle. The MSO requires both firmware add-on and hardware a logic probe. If you get all these options, it's $665 additional, which brings it up to 1164. All right, guys, and this one looks very similar to the one on the bench. It has uh, two independent channel controls and the external input. Uh, USB is moved over here instead of being by the power switch but it does have this menu off button the buttons are a little bit different up here because the print button went from here to up here and the USB went where the print button was other than that they look very similar there's a cavity here where the digital option went and the one I have on the bench but other than that they look very similar that's the two channel version okay now I just want to show you the back of it the back of it the uh, the pass fail BNC and the LAN connections right here and the USB is here so it's all the ports are right here on the back and then it has a key lock here okay I'll go back and show you what the one on the bench looks like in the back alright the one on the bench um, the X has the BNC connectors over here and the USB connectors uh, in this depressed depression area here and the power on this thing so the back is a little bit different on the X, the one I have on the bench. Just wanted to point that out. Okay, and the four channel one, like I say, it has a 
the four buttons here for the channels and it has the one set of controls here okay and then the horizontal and the trigger are very similar now in the four channel they did add the search button here and these search buttons here where um, the one on the bench it's soft buttons it's controlled down here on the screen so you can see the S bus here for the digital input and the four channels here so it's kind of like the one on the bench it has a print button here but it still has the menu off button over on this other corner and here's a list of the differences from Siglent one thing I forgot to mention is that X the one on the bench has the 50 ohm and 1 mega ohm uh, option for the input terminals where the XE only has 1 mega ohm so you can get these little adapters I'll show you that you can use on the XE to get the 50 ohm and the X has 8 inch versus the XE 7 inch which I showed you and the XE has 1 million points versus the 16,000 points which I've shown you that and also the XE has these differences onboard web page boldly plot but you need these things external waveform generator you know with the option with the optional license and the Wi-Fi control with the optional license okay guys so the X version has the 50 ohm option let me just show you that when you push this in you go to impedance 1 meg or 50 ohm pretty cool see when it's 50 ohm it loads down that signal so you only want to do that when you have a 50 ohm okay now if you don't have that you can use one of these guys it's a Tektronics one and it's 50 ohm to watt guys so you just plug this into here and that's what you need to do if you don't have that option so on the X-E if you had something that needed a 50 ohm input you would use one of these guys also I just want to show you the math function I'm looking at this signal here let's just say we're going to look at the math you go to math and see it shows this but what I want to do is go to option and go down here to FFT and there's there's the FFT now to get rid of this menu I have to touch something or wait for it the other one has the X-E has a button here where I can get rid of the menu so I don't have to wait you can see all these different options you get with the FFT I can come over here pretty neat thing that the signal has is an auto set and then you'll see the FFT jump up see that that's pretty cool otherwise I could play around with the uh, the center and the Hertz and and dial this in okay but with that option it, and they always start off in the center when you do that for some reason but uh, let me just show you something else here see this is 1000 points not very much resolution right some scopes only give you that much some of the scopes that some of the you know for the same kind of price range uh, now if I come here to see how you can go down 2000 now 2000 I can toggle this like this and go through these but you see how I'm getting more and more definition here 8000 now look at that 16 now that glitch by the way is the frequency that I'm uh, operating here which is one kilohertz and that's right at one kilohertz yeah. see how hairy it looks like when you get 16 but if I had 1 million points I could go 20 times even more detail so there's a lot of manipulation you can do with this uh, FFT it's really neat I've shown one video on how you use this I'm going to show some more but you get this uh, center is one kilohertz that's where that amplitude right there is the amplitude of of this one kilohertz sign and then um, 5k Hertz per division so every division is five five kilohertz so I can go to 50 kilohertz here now okay guys so that signal that we we're looking at up here I have to capture a lot more waveforms to get enough information I thought I'd just show you how this works since we're here so you can see the value of FFT real quick so one kilohertz is here in the middle each division is 50 Hertz so that's 100 Hertz over this way 100 Hertz this way 
So that signal up here, I was modulating that one kilohertz with a hundred hertz uh, wave. So you can see it's it's 900 and 1100 because it's been modulated by 100 hertz. So I just thought I'd show you that. And uh, you know, again, with the one million points, you'd get a lot more information. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if that helped you. Um, I know I was a little confused between the X and the X dash E. I've had some folks ask me, and I had to look it up, and I thought I'd do this quick video. So give me a thumbs up if you like this, and uh, if it was helpful. All right, thanks for watching.